my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here today we're going to talk about why should you be hosting your course on Click eCourse and hopefully you're watching this on YouTube and you can subscribe and if you're watching on LinkedIn or Facebook you should go to the link that's going to be in the description to see this whole video and if you're listening to the audio on iTunes or on SoundCloud or on Alexa then you might want to go watch the video because I'm going to show things uh, that the site offers so that you can actually visually see I'm going to try to explain it but yeah so you know the first reason why you should be using click ecourse to host your site is because you know me and you know that I'm consistent you know that I've been building that site for a long time and it has lots of features that you need as a marketer and we're going to talk more about why you should be using Click eCourse as your course hosting site in just a moment but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets obviously because you know me is not a good enough reason maybe it is maybe you know me well maybe we're friends maybe we've been following you've been following me for a long time and maybe you think that maybe you trust me and that's one of the things right online marketing is all about getting people to know like and trust you and for you to know like and trust me you have to have been following for a while you have to have been seeing my stuff you have to be seeing my content you have to be kind of Re believing that I'm not just you know a fly-by-night thing that I'm and it's the same you have to do the same thing you're building a business online you're trying to sell products you're trying to sell courses you're trying to build a following online you got to have your people to start to know like and trust you right and you do that by being consistent by producing content regularly by explaining what you're doing by letting people know what you're about what you do what it is that you know why they should be following you why they should be doing things so let me kind of backtrack a little bit tell you a little bit about Click eCourse how it came about why I'm doing it and why you should be using it right maybe that'll help you to see why you should be using it. so let me just share my screen first right over here and uh, like I said if you're listening to the audio obviously you can't you can't see all this but um let me start by sharing my screen where is it where is it share screen uh, that one there all right so first uh actually before I do that I gotta resize this so that it fits the whole screen and there we go and I think that's it right we got the whole we got the whole thing okay so you can see the whole thing you can see the whole site so that's clicky e course now how did I get about that right I mean me I've been using online tools for like four or five years right I started with a site called MLSP MLSP I'm going to show you something on this site um so I'm just going to oh, and by the way you can find out more about MSP you can actually get a 10-day free trial um a 10-day trial sorry a 10-day full trial for ten dollars um at mlsp.johnsergegang.com so you can just go to this to this link here I'm covering my face there and just go to this link here and you can go check it out but anyway so I'm just going to log in uh kind of show you what what the back office kind of looks like because it is a site that has a lot of things and one of the things and you know what they teach a lot of stuff like if I go in the training here the training vault and I look at the training that they have there it is insane I mean look at that there's is, does it say the number the total someplace it doesn't really say the total but you can see the number of pages of trainings and you can see the number well actually you can see some numbers here right you can see personal development 671 marketing strategy 785 keyword research 27 article marketing attraction marketing 841 business strategy 994 Facebook 121 blogging 71 keyword research lead generation I mean it's insane the amount of training they have in there and you know I started learning things using going through this training because you know this training is part of the the membership 
and you know it's 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 awesome it's like there's they have training every single week so I would learn things they have free webinars they have all this I would learn things about the different things over time I mean the thing is that there's so much to learn when trying to build a business online that it's like oh my god there uh, I there's too much I can't do it right and that's what most people end up doing for me I was I I was like okay I know there's so much to learn I shouldn't expect to know it all within you know a week or a month I'm just going to learn it slowly learn it slowly implement things do things of course I wanted results right away I wanted to have quick results but the thing is that I know it takes a long time but anyways that's kind of my mentality when I first started it was like okay I'm I've got lots to learn let's just learn it slowly right learn it slowly so I learned things I learned things and then eventually I got to a point where I was like I want to I want to you know do my own courses because when I was looking when I look at these right if I go to say for example I don't know let's just say we now she recorded seven set reminders uh start right where you are get instant results let's just look at this for the fun of it so when I was looking at this I was like okay this is a an hour and a half training I can, watch training I can watch the training right I can go through it watch the whole thing this actually is Norberg right here one of the founders he explains I guess he's talking about how to grow your list oh and this is Diane Hockman right here um but that's the thing so these are trainings that I can I can go through for free and I was like okay well if they can do it I can create courses like this after I've learned stuff right so I started to create uh lessons so let me go to YouTube I kind of started to to create these things if I go to my channel here right let's just go to my channel my channel and I go to my videos you can actually do that you can go to my channel you can go to my videos actually I'm going to get that link out of there right now you can go to my channel which is basically youtube.johnsters guy or go to my blog but the point is that I can sort here by oldest they've added oldest right and I can see the very first videos I did right they were just silly little videos they were like you know what is this 31 seconds four minutes five minutes two minutes doing all these videos and eventually I actually started doing these tips right so success tips 72 73 success tips uh number 82 whatever uh I'd give admiration success tips uh, synergize you know all these different things I and then I started doing um I, so I did this for example right so this one here was an online branding and I did these number you know one two three four five uh six and seven and eight right and they were like the 10 9 and 10 right so I that's that's actually the first like course I created which was just videos on YouTube they're still public you can still look at them you still go I don't know if can you see how many views I had just not that many right 23 views six views five views nine views 21 views I never really um I never really tried to promote YouTube that much but these are just you know or what you call organic views right I also did some trainings like this for example how to record your desktop using OBS I did a tutorial on that I did how to use social media automation to get massive results I also did another one right here how to uh, add a associated website to a YouTube video how to successfully schedule social media how to in use Instagram how to get 1000 plus a month LinkedIn connections so I mean those are like all little courses I did and I'm like I want to put them somewhere I want to organize them someplace I want to but I, but at the time that that's like four years ago right at the time I wasn't thinking about a hosting platform I started kind of look to see what there was out there so I started looking for you know obviously four years ago is different very different than today's landscape for that uh in that respect but the thing is that I started looking I started looking for solutions and one of the things that happened is MLSP that was about a year ago MLSP created a site called they added well first okay let's uh, add another piece of information so one of the things that MLSP um has or had or you know is going to have until the end of the March, uh, August is a blogging site so you could actually go here and let's just go to my website's blogging platform so in MLSP you can set up a blog in just a few minutes 
that's that's beside the point it's not really the purpose but one of the things is that this is where I started creating my blog I actually started creating my blog there was just a little button here you could just click on activate blog it was really simple all you needed to do was set up your credentials or actually it would give this this site would automate it or automate it for you but anyways it was a five minute thing to set it up right it was great and they managed the whole thing they updated plugins they decided on which plugins we could use they decided on which themes are available all these things were all kind of managed for us so we didn't have to know anything about wordpress right and that was great but the thing is that they decided to phase it out um, about a year ago they started talking about how it would phase out by the end of august this year uh, so that one of the things I did is on I on my platform I added WordPress as a as a feature as it's a feature that you can have on Click eCourse we're going to talk about that in a second but first I just want to bring up the whole MLSP thing one of the other thing is that they created about the same time as when they started considering getting rid of the blogging platform they created a, um, a business center they call it a business center and basically it's a course hosting site you can host courses in here uh let's just can I right click oh I guess not I gotta click it it opens up in the same tab maybe I should have just duplicated it well I guess it doesn't matter because yeah once you're in the I I haven't really done much with it I did I did uh, activate it uh but the thing is that it is pretty complete complete it lets you do lots of the stuff that you can do for courses but for me I wanted something simpler I mean when I look at this I want to create a course okay I want to create a course I go in here I don't even know I probably there's a it's a, some videos explaining how to do it and I actually followed some of their training uh, it'd been a while but um my courses let's see my courses this is the one course I did I didn't finish I didn't I don't know maybe it is there so how do I create a new course marketplace affiliate subscription reports payment check out assets account business center dashboard uh what's that that's where I was uh how do I create a course right <laughs> <coughs> it should be a lot simpler than that right let's go to dashboard and this is one of the things that I found when I was even if even if I go let's go I create payment reports asset manager courses okay so I go in here this is my courses I want to add a new course so first I had to find where it was right so this is a test course and then I just add new course okay so now we've got a new course and now I go in the settings I set up the the course settings it's you know there is some complexity to all this but at the same time once you go through it and you learn it it's not that bad right but then I save course settings I don't know there's an image here I can set uh, but then I have to okay um access training no and uh, now I want to add stuff to it so course builder so there are no modules so I have to add a module okay so now I'm going to add a module a module name I don't know introduction uh, intro intro add the module okay now I have a module now what um add a new lesson okay uh, in this in, in this lesson lesson one add lesson so as you can see it's a whole bunch of like these steps you gotta create the course and you gotta add the modules then you gotta add the lessons then you gotta add the videos to the lessons you gotta add the it's like oh it's kind of like a okay it's step by step but it's it's a whole bunch of steps to get to where you want a course and that's one of the things I found and it's kind of funny because I started working on my site on Click eCourse before this came out and this is you know they, they are a big platform they they're awesome and if you if you certainly you certainly should be looking into my lead system pro how it is but let me just show you click eCourse how much easier it is to create a course it's got the similar kind of you know um complexity in the sense that there's lots of things you can do but it's it's a simple screening course and adding lessons now if you want to organize them with modules and all this stuff you can do that but and you don't have to do it at the beginning you can do it afterwards and that's one of the things that I really struggled with because if you look at all the course course platforms out there they all force you to organize everything it might be a good thing right to organize everything first I'm not saying that's a bad thing I'm just saying that when you're first starting to create courses 
you you might be like I just want a course that has four videos in it that's all I want I just want to have a place so for me if I look at the courses I've got on the site here now um it's loading up just give it a second so if I look at the courses I have on the site now you can see that most of them they're all just videos in courses right they're just videos that have or sorry I should just say courses that have a bunch of videos in them right and uh and that's that's really the the basics of it right uh, if I look at for example so some of them are courses that I've uh, used up from a PLR right a PLR private label rights I actually have a blog post that talks about PLRs but if I look at for example this one uh, which I don't know which ones are on this on this site like this working at home and digital marketing for seniors right I mean it's it's a course like so the site is the internet is a little slow for me right now sorry about that that's why it's kind of taking a while to load normally isn't that slow um but it's loading it's coming it's wow this is really slow I don't know why it's so slow oh I think I know why let me go back here and do this that's why I got a backup that's going on right now I'm going to cancel that that should speed things up here uh, okay it's gonna load just reload that and there we go uh, yeah that's a little bit better right okay so if I look for example LinkedIn profile secrets that's one of the courses that I created that is basically you know you got a description here and you got the lessons and that's it that's all I cared about it's same thing with my if I look at my uh simple online strategies or my top 10 simple online strategies right here this one here is just 10 videos 10 videos that are basically and all you got to do is you get you can click on one of these videos to watch them somebody that wants to get your course they can uh, they can uh click the link they can you can send them this link here like say if I were to open this in in an incognito window right somebody who goes to that link right they're going to see the course now the capture page can be managed it can be updated you can change this this is just the default what it looks like and you can depending on your account you can disable ads there and uh, there are different things and you can set the lessons to be watchable or not or you or they have to unlock the course which means adding it to the library especially if it's a free course like this one is free right let's go back to it. okay so I mean uh and and let's just put the link here for click ecourse so I mean if you go to click ecourse you can create okay so how do you create a course so first you go to click ecourse you will just uh, go to say the uh, about page you will get there then you have to register an account of course you just were to click on the register let's just go here it's as simple as let's go back to where we were say I want to have this course I want to watch it you can just watch the courses the lessons right you just play and watch them <laughs> and it's slow because of the internet but you can see that this is playing right and let's just pause it and the thing is that you can just watch this but if you want to add it to the library you got to register and create an account so let's just register right here and uh you would just enter an email there and you would enter a password you click it register send you an email and there's a registration link activation link just takes a few minutes and usually within 30 seconds you have the email and you can activate your account once your account is activated you'll be logged in and you'll be able to access the course and add it to your library and you'll be able to create your own course so to create a course when you go to this page you're going to see a big a green plus on the side here and then you just click the course one and that takes you to the course creation page now in this there's a whole bunch of different things but let's just call this test course right and I'll just not worry about the rest and then there's a cover image you can have a cover image I can choose a file here uh, let's just go in here just put it doesn't really matter here let's just put that and then you just I just say done right the rest I can put description and all this later on uh, but now my course my course is created and I got my cover image I chose and it's it's got a free it's a free course because I didn't put a price on it 
then I just add lessons I say plus right next to the lesson here right here right and in here again it's got extra stuff you don't need to fill it all in all you got to know is that you want to make this published you want to give it a name and you want to put a url for say a video let's say I take this video here uh, I guess I'll just double click copy link and then I go back here I just put the url for the youtube video and I click on save and that will add that lesson to the course and that's it it's as simple as that now I have a course with one lesson if I go back to the course there's a link here now you can see I have one lesson right there right I have one lesson in this course I can add another lesson if I want just click on the plus here and I go down here oh, let's make it published again and then I just post uh, let's say I put another link let's say one of these these one here let's just take this one copy link copy link and then I go here whoops over here I paste it right there and I save it and now I have well in a few seconds here I ha I will have two lessons to my course so that's the very very simplest way to create a course that I found online that's why I've created this site because I wanted to be able to do those kinds of courses which just have videos so I, say I did a 30 minute video and I wanted to show you how to create a course say for example right now how to create a course on Click eCourse and I'm doing this video right now that's that's where we're at 21 minutes that's going to be like say 30 minutes and there's and I want to split it up in okay first you got to register your account second you got to activate your account third you got to click on the plus thing to create an, a, a, a to create a new course that'll take you to the course page then you got to set your name description and title then you got to set your um you know thumbnail for the course then you got to if you if I go through all these things and I show you all that I can split all that up you know there's tools to split videos into multiple pieces right so you just take all these little pieces you put them all together and it becomes your course with all these different lessons right here you see lesson one whatever that's because it took the text from the from the YouTube video if I click on this little edit uh, icon there I can edit this and I can change that to uh, set up YouTube I just take that out of there and I'm going to take that like this so it basically puts the same thing in all three because it just takes it from YouTube if I go back to YouTube I can actually go to this set up YouTube one here just pause it I could probably look there might be some description here so let's just take this right I can just put that in here in my oops details and well let's just do that like that I save that now if I go back to the course now you see it says set up YouTube and it's online branding series number seven or whatever you want right it could be introduction whatever you want now when I click on this to play it let's pause it right away okay well actually let's skip over to the end here let's do that go to the end and do the actual video sorry hello my friend and welcome to six as you can see that's an old video <laughs> I had a lot less comfort in front of the camera so if you're not comfortable doing videos you're not comfortable doing camera don't worry about it it gets better you just got to do it and keep doing it and keep doing it. you'll get better at it okay so this for example if I look at this you can actually download the audio download the video for it you can skip to the next lesson and what else can I show you oh yeah that's uh, you can go full screen right here like this right uh, and watch it and then you can go navigate straight to the next lesson right here there's also and here you're going to see your courses whatever courses you've created and going straight to another course or a course that you added to your library when you go to your profile up here profile that little icon right there at the top which by default won't be an image you can choose an image right here and it'll they'll use it but there's a courses tab right here that you can go to that will list all the courses that you have added to your library and the courses that you've created now I have a bunch of courses now this course here's the one we're on 
I'm just going to go back to this course I just I just click it takes me to the course right and as you can see the the link up here is test course 105 and that's kind of like that's kind of like the link you can give people and if I change the course name if I edit the course let's just say edit course right there and I change the course name to old so so what was it called social what did I call those videos social online branding series okay let's call this online online branding series whoops series online brand what to do to brand yourself online right I say I can just say done here I go back to the course now you can see the URL has changed now now it's online branding series now that's because it we make sure that your SEO is, is able to be used and, and so that whenever you share this on social media or anything like that there's going to be whatever title you give it like if you're trying to create a course that's about losing weight you want that title that text to be in the URL so that's why that's like that uh you can see that I, we, we added this text that's here now and if I was to show you the I wonder if we can see it here let's look at the page source um yeah so we also do that in here the Twitter description is right there the uh article description where is it OG description is going to be whatever text you put in the description um <clears throat> A new course on site click course see so the and description is right here again so we use we are heavily seo capable a, enabled and the other thing you'll notice on the site too is that we have the little bot right there and we have the little bot right there which is a chat bot if I click this this is the main the main uh oh look at that there's they've they've got an error <laughs> hmm. interesting I'm gonna have to, look, to uh, raise a bug on that but that's a chat a chat bot is basically uh something that'll help you with um connection uh it's it allows you to configure a conversation with somebody who's coming to your site and you can set this for your course in your course under uh, header code you'll find a conversio bot id right here and a student conversion bot id so that means you can have a different chat for somebody visiting your course or somebody who's already a student of your course so that can allow interaction and things like that with with the student right uh, it's pretty cool and if you set these to a certain uh, id it won't show the main site one like this one here right so that's what that's about what else can I tell you so under uh, price commission you can give the, your course a price say I want to I want this this course to be I don't know 9.99 right uh and I want I'm actually let's say it's a course that I'm really just putting together to get leads and I don't really I'm not really looking for the income but I'm looking for people to promote it for me I can do 90 percent commission I like doing that because that means that the person is going to promote it somebody else is going to promote your course they're going to get almost all the commission but you get the new student you get the new lead you get the new the new potential sale for something else later on right you get that lead and that's one of the things I like to do making sure that I have that the other option is you can in the downloadable section you can decide whether you allow them to download the videos or not you just uh just to be clear uh it's not possible to completely prevent downloads if they're a little technical they'll be able to figure it out but at this but this does make it a little bit more complicated and it kind of hides the ability to download it right and that's the idea here if you don't want people to copy your course and download it the other thing is embedded player if you by default it'll use embedded videos if you post say a youtube link it'll show the youtube um branding stuff right and the youtube um the YouTube what do you call it the YouTube um anyways links and all that in there and instead instead of downloading the video and, and sharing just the video you can do that too if you want but you have to have the account that supports it not all plans uh, support all that the other thing is under let's see is there anything else let's just save that oh, okay so now the next thing that is really cool 
which which uh, is is cool let's say this course you're wanting people to 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 see that it's worth a thousand but you're actually going to sell it for 500 bucks um you're supposed to, uh, you can uh, you can actually have coupons and you can have so you can have a coupon or you can have a deal so a deal is a, a, a lower price that you give the course for a certain time right you can say I want to I want to make it 4.99 until the end of the year or until tonight or until tomorrow or whatever until the end of the month uh that and that'll show on the it'll show right there on the price it'll have the original price with in red with a strike through and then your new price and with the date when it ends uh and that's that's visible to anybody who sees the site but then there's coupons with coupons you can actually you can actually give a special deal to somebody who has the coupon so it's basically a you know you, the coupon can be whatever you want it's just a text string and the amount can either be a percentage off or it can be a specific price so you can have a 50 off coupon for example that gives them 50 percent off the price or you can have a 50 dollar coupon that gives them a 50 dollar price for the course you can also limit the number of people that can have that coupon so you can have 10 10 coupons at 10 dollars right or even you can have a coupon for free if you want you can give a free coupon and and the thing is that if people use up that coupon the site automatically handles there's 10 people that used it no that coupon is not good anymore right you don't have to worry about managing that so the site does that uh, the other thing is that the site supports uh, so you can promote other people's courses that have a commission on them if I if I look I wonder if I'm trying to remember if you can actually see that in the details or something if I go details um no if I go the list I can click on the list here yeah I, I thought no it doesn't say there I guess I should probably add that here because we don't see the uh we don't see the the the, com the commissions because you know somebody would might want to see how much commission they they might want to promote the course that has the highest commission right or the amount and this is what it would look like if you have a deal on something right um these are courses that have special prices for a certain amount of time and uh yeah so if I go back to the course promote your courses and the other thing too is you can actually delete a course if I'm not if I'm not satisfied with this course oh actually here's the other thing before I do that you can see on the side here you can see your statistics for your course right you can see how many students are enrolled how many impressions so that means how many times the course was actually seen by somebody when they clicked how many views uh that means how often it's been seen in the feed uh lesson views is how many lesson how many people clicked on lessons and then a number of clicks is how many times the the course was clicked on uh how many times it added to cart how many times there was how many sales there were the income feeds whatever all that stuff right and then people can see this they can see how many modules are in your course how many lessons you have how many files how many quizzes uh how many how long the course is how many seconds it lasts and how many seconds have been watched so if you've got a course that's very popular if I go back to my courses here and I look at say for example let's just make this the default view LinkedIn profile secrets for example I can look at this course it's a course I created so you can actually see I have 17 students that enrolled in this course I have th this is a free course so there's no income but I I've got 14,000 watch seconds so I, I we probably could put this in, in in minutes or something but this is just you know that's lots of there's still lots of things to improve on the site but that's it lets you see how many people have watched it how long they've how much of it they've watched it I don't even know why I have to do the math here it's probably right that that's not but at the same time you see lesson views you see how many views how many impressions how many students right and all that stuff is all there uh so let's go back to deleting the course if you want to delete a course that you did that you don't really want you can actually go in here and you go to that course that you're on and then you can delete it I just click on the delete right here you can also delete it from the other list you saw I don't know if you saw there was a little trash can but if you click on delete what it does is it shows you what the details are right these are the lessons there's no files this is the course just to make sure that you're you know this is fine and you can just click on yes I'm sure delete and it'll delete the course 
and that's it so now the other thing we didn't do is we didn't do um we didn't do the uh what did I want to say we didn't do the uh publishing the course so once you create the course it's a new course it doesn't show up here on the main page right you, and you you can make it an unlisted course if you want or you can make it a public course or you can make it a course only accessible or visible by students of the course if they if they get the course they'll see it on the page here if they're logged in but nobody else will uh there's different options like that and and uh, yeah so I mean that's why you should you should use a click e-course for your there you go for your course hosting because you know me you know that this is something that I've been working on for a long time that does have all these features and you know that it's going to allow you to do what you want to do all right hopefully you enjoyed this and if you have any questions then please reach out you can always find me on my blog at contact uh, there's a there's gonna be a link on the page contact you can connect with me on any social media and I'd love to hear from you all right have yourself a great day we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.